Those £15 million George Square revamp has been unveiled. Six companies are vying for the chance to reintroduce some lost grandeur to the heart of our biggest city. Among the proposals are a tartan surface, reflective pools, a statue gallery and pop-up cafes. Here's Karen Greenshields. The Christmas decorations in the process have been removed from Glasgow's George Square. And if some of the designs on the shortlist get the go-ahead, a lot more will be dismantled. 35 international companies competed for the contract to make over Glasgow's front room. Those on the shortlist, say organisers, kept to the brief of designing a world-class square. We asked the people of Glasgow before we asked any architects that their views on this, and they all meet the range of, of uses that the people of Glasgow want for the very heart of our city. Some designers aware that removing the monuments is already a contentious issue, have chosen to cluster them together in their own little shelters. Others have bravely removed them. Water installations, a wry comment on the city's climate perhaps, feature widely, from reflective pools to fountains. And the much-hated red asphalt introduced in the 90s becomes in one blueprint a large tartan surface visible from the air. I mean, that, that looks a bit cheesy, but you, know, you can never tell what it's going to look like until you actually see it there. This one we've moved on to, which is more of a winter scene, seems absolutely more people driven, which is important, I think, for the square. They do like the people aspect of yes, it. Yes, totally, mm -hmm. but that is seasonal. One online group has launched a tirade against the council, claiming the project is being rushed through in time for the Commonwealth Games and that the square gifted to the people of the city will become a commercial venue. The winning design will be chosen in less than a fortnight. The public have just one week to have their say. Critics say that a project conceived in such haste will surely be repented at leisure. Whilst there will be a big improvement in what's existing currently, it might not be the, the world-class destination which we all hope and aspire for. I do worry uh, to a certain degree that it might have compromised the approach taken. It, it may have been rushed to an extent which perhaps if they'd been given not, even just a few more weeks could have been avoided. One designer has entitled his proposal an urban salon. Another critic claims it's a glorified paving job. If Sir Walter Scott were alive, he could surely write a book. Well, to discuss the George Square revamp and run the rule over the shortlisted designs, we're joined by Professor Roger Wilson from the Glasgow School of Art, the journalist and former independent MSP for Glasgow, Dorothy Grace Elder, and the editor of the Urban Realm magazine, John Glendy. Thanks for joining us. Um, Roger Wilson, it's been quite controversial, isn't it? It's costing £15 million. Pounds. The public only have nine days to have their view before the panel decides. Is it too rushed? Yes, it does very short answer. It, it also, it, it is a, a grand space without any kind of design interference whatsoever. So it, it takes some care. The, the, the design task of actually improving less grand spaces would be an easier task to undertake. This is a really challenging brief. Dorothy Grace, it needs a rebound, doesn't it? We should, we should welcome the fact that it's going to be done up. Fifteen million pounds in a city which actually has food banks for poor people and potholes all over the place. No, it's better to spend it on something else. But what is being removed, virtually, is that as a public space, as a meeting space, as a protest place, which has been since 1919 and before it. And that is disgraceful to cut out the public altogether. John, what do you think? It is quite controversial, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's a tight time frame, it's a tight budget, and there's no more demanding site in Glasgow to get right. I don't sympathise with the six shortlisted teams at all in battling with this, uh, particularly working on it over the Christmas New Year period. Uh, doing this between your turkey and uh, <laughs> hog money is a challenge in anyone's books, um, but I think it'd be good to see these develop further. Excellent. OK, well, we've brought you together to pass judgment. So let's have a look at the, the short list of designs. Let's have a look at design number one. Now, you can see the big reflective pool there. It seems to take up a, a lot of the area. What do you think of design number one? It will be reflecting grey skies here and is an obvious mega centre for floating chip pokes and fag ends. <laughs> I'm not sure what the, the, the goal is here. There seems to be a degree of artistic licence, as Dorothy says. And, Obviously, the, the three days of a year when we can use the pool, this would be fantastic. But three days, you're being optimistic, aren't you, Roger? <laughs> no, 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 no water, surely not. Okay, um, do you like it, Roger? 
I, I actually, I like the idea of a reflective okay. surface, okay. but I think that's the wrong one to use. All right, design number two. Um, lots of water fountains here. We can see the children running through them in the sunshine. That's a bit optimistic, as we've just discussed. What do we think of that one? I like the, the striated banding of the, the, the white and dark paving. I think uh, it does lend a bit of prominence to the city chambers acting as a focal point, but it does seem a bit desolate when the fountains are switched off. Yep. It, it's fine in the sunshine of Barcelona, but I think, again, it reflects that the designers have had hardly any time. It's all being built, bulldozed through by the council. I think also, also basically, that the running water lends itself to all sorts of mischief and dis yeah. difficulty in terms of blocking up and in terms of, in, in terms of abuse. It, it, running water is not a good thing to have, generally in speaking. Scotland. Yeah. Well, in, 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 in public spaces, <laughs> I think, generally. OK, design number three. Now, more water features, um, lots of fountains. It seems to take up most of the, the, the space, doesn't it? So well, poor old Sir Walter Scott there has been repositioned, <laughs> still facing up George Street, but uh -huh. it, it ruins the, the symmetry of the square. It just looks out of place, yeah. and I, I don't think, sometimes it might grow on you, I don't think this one would. This is removing famous people at the heart of Scotland, Robert Burns going to be removed in time for his birthday. James Watt. There's also there um, Graham, who was the progenitor of dialysis. People who have saved the world in many ways are going to be obliterated from Glasgow. That is disgraceful. Uh, Roger, because I'm positive to say about this, this is a lot of negativity. I, I'm, about I'm, all struggling, the I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'd say. Like I, mean, I would add to the statuary rather than reduce it. I think actually one thing you could do was commission ten more sculptors to make ten more statues. That would be much better than this. Right. Okay. Well, um, let's look at design number four. I have to say, I, qu I quite like this one. Um, but there are a lot of trees in front of the city chambers. I don't know. If how that will uh, go down with people. It looks like it looks like a, a still from a, 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 a 19th century Parisian it does, it? Um, painting by Manet. I mean, I, I, it's very odd. I mean, I, I feel totally at, at, at odds with the, the kind of setting of it. It doesn't look like Glasgow or, or the Northern Hemisphere indeed at all. Do you like it though? I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. Okay, Dorothy Grace? I don't know what the public shelter or urinals or whatever they are at the end of it are really there for. Come on! That is blocking the old post office building, which is a beautiful building. Right, okay. John? It's a seductive image and it introduces the, the greenery with the, the oak grove there, which I think sells it for me. Um, Wait, also yeah. positive comments. Great, great. Yeah, okay. we're, we're, we're stronger for that one. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at um, number five. Now, this is the one with the, the tartan surface that can be seen from the air. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you like it, John? Uh, it's a bit naff, I, I have to say. I'm not entirely convinced with the Glasgow City tartan, but it's it's an interesting composition with the statues uh, corralling them together in that sort of circular feature. It could work. I, I like I like the collection of the statues. I say I would add to them. I think you'd have to you you make some contemporary statuary there. In addition, it would be fine. The, the, I think you're right. I think it's slightly cheesy the the, the actual <laughs> paving design. Oh, the tartan, of course, will be appreciated by the pigeons from a great height. <laughs> uh, it's preferable because <laughs> some of the statues have been saved. We don't know who will be uh, saved no, yet, no, though, do no, we? No, no, no. All right. Um, finally, number six. I have to say, a lot of people in um, the Scotland Tonight team like this one. What do you think? A bit of greenery? Yes, it's got the most greenery of any of the schemes, so I think uh, the public will naturally warm to this to a degree. I think I quite like how it extrapolates the, the square out into the surrounding streets, which I think is a key aspect for any scheme to address. Don't like it. It's going to block the public from protesting about anything, but then nobody's been able to protest properly about these plans, the way they've been bulldozed through. And that You're makes it practical, Dorothy. It is, looks is a bit too much like a swastika from the air, that one. All right, okay, Roger. Uh, well, uh, again, I, I think this is one of those designs that only, only works if you're deified. <laughs> what a picture. A day of fine pigeon. <laughs> All right. I mean, wh which one? Which one did you like, Dorothy Grace? I think, I think that number five is the least worst, and I'm not blaming any of the designers because I think they've been put to the point of the saddle to do this rush job, so it can be rushed past everybody at 
ridiculous cost. 15 million. Okay, John, they're talking about getting it, the first phase done um, by the beginning of the Commonwealth Games. Do you think that's possible, just very briefly? It, it's feasible, but it's, it's not desirable. And I think there's been a, a mix-up. It should have been planned okay. better. We've run out of time. Thank you so much for your comments. That was brilliant.